Hello and welcome to our regular Thursday discussions that we dubbed EP Talks. Hello to everybody and welcome. As far as I see, we have over 180 people in the room. But it's for sure that the European Union enlargement policy is, in fact, its most effective foreign and security policy instrument. It has till now repeatedly proven itself to be a stabilizing factor for our neighbors, uh, helped spread European Union influence, and let's not forget the spreading of the common market. Because this information is never a neutral thing. Uh, this information comes with a purpose. Uh, uh, this information, first of, first of all, has an origin, and this origin, uh, most of times, is not just a casual one. And, and then, of course, uh, it's always linked with uh, a strategy. In normal times, uh, as I just uh, said, this information can be uh, very harming uh, because uh, it will probably uh, be linked to political campaigns. It will be linked most of times to uh, extreme ideologies at the extreme right side or at the left or right side. Sometimes it will be linked also to external interferences. And most of times uh, tries to harm democracy, tries to harm values, tries to harm also the, uh, the trust of citizens in the institutions. Uh, I believe that right now the, the, the biggest problem that we are facing in the dis disinformation sphere uh, is the, uh, the, 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 the movement of people who are, who, who are opposing all kinds of vaccines. And that is something that we are seeing a lot of these past days since the start of the pandemic and, and the, the proportions of this uh, are quite troublesome. Uh, and just to put one more sentence in the context uh, of this disinformation, I think it is very uh, important to understand who are those anti-democratic forces which are hitting not only the Western Balkans, which are now attacking and working within EU, and uh, reading all this uh, tremendous amount of disinformation around COVID, uh, even uh, the, the, the summit, it will be really important to understand who is standing behind them. And once more, thank you all. It was really pleasant talking with you. Uh, follow our uh, social media, follow uh, central social media of the European Parliament.